Hello everybody and welcome. I'm your host Captain Austin Mess and today is day two of the OVKA race series in this weekend. Now before I start about today let me mention a couple things real quick with you. Day one as you saw was kind of difficult. It was tiring. It was challenging. It was trying and uh, it's just because of the fact that I was running into a lot of issues with my cart and uh, the good thing about yesterday also was that when uh, the race was over I got to have a little bit of a of a downtime of a time trial thing where basically we were trying out the setups on our carts. I made some changes as I mentioned hey. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> one thing we found out as my team captain who uh, you know got to also try out the cart that I've been assigned uh, he found out that the cart was behaving like complete crap and it's just that we've got a lot of things that we need to do so some of the things that we worked on was we put in a chain guard we then also changed the gear on it so that we have it ready for today's configuration which is the shortest configuration possible on this track uh, then we also worked on widening the width of the uh, the rear so that I could get a little bit more compliance on the rear end uh, and uh, all of that did work out but it was still still not behaving the way it needs to we also discovered later on or after really doing some brainstorming that the front end has some challenges as well so as a result of all of that <laughs> and no time at all yay I look beautiful in that uh, we have decided that I'm going to instead go on cart number 22, which my teammate Thomas is usually on. Unfortunately, he couldn't make it out today. So what I'm going to do on this, as I do this real quick, uh, look for what I want. We're going to change the gear on it. So remember, on go-karts, there are two gears. The gear that's on the crank or the engine itself, and then this back here that drives the uh, rear axle. So the front is going to stay at 16 gears, and in the back, we're going to go from a 65 four no sorry I want to say it's a 61 right now and we're gonna go with 63 so what this will do is that it's going to cut down the top speed but it will give you better acceleration better torque down low which is what we want because it's a very short configuration now what that means for me is that I'm going to hit the rev limiter a lot sooner than I would on a 61 tooth uh, setup so uh, knowing all that again it doesn't matter uh, if I'm hitting the rev limiter too many times or too hard because the configuration is real short what I have to keep an eye out on this particular configuration is how quickly do I come out of those turns because the turns are going to be tight and you guys will see that uh, if we hopefully do get the chance to race there's a little bit of a chance of rain still even though it's pretty sunny out and I'm hoping that it stays this way last night it did rain a lot um, and I actually got woken up by some of the thunderstorms that roll through here but anyway, that is what I'm going to work on. I don't think anything else needs to be done on this cart. I did also take this out last night after testing out uh, the cart that I'm assigned. And this cart has real good pickup. It uh, really works well on the track. So uh, that's why we've decided that instead of messing around with that one cart and wasting time and not really knowing what the root cause of its problems are, might as, go, might as well go on something that's actually working right. Uh, the key team captain was doing double duty yesterday. He was on both the KA100 uh, cart that he's been riding on, which is super crazy fast, and then he was on this cart. Uh, today, we have decided that that's not what we're going to do because the idea was on the 206 series. We wanted uh, both of our available carts to be present. <laughs> that cart went to third place yesterday. That's really exactly it. Class. So yeah. I'm telling you, we've got the equipment. It can do it. Ball's in your court. That's right. So ball's in my court. So... I mean, let me just talk about the race last night or yesterday. One thing that happened was I was in 16th place and then I, well, let me backtrack a little bit. I had what's called a cross on my name as in when I have been participating in this series is because uh, the way they work is that I'm a novice to this series. So they wanted me to start at the back even if I placed well during qualifiers. So in the qualifiers, I placed 13 out of 16 on a pretty crappy cart let me put that out there and uh, with that in mind when I started the finals I started in last place anyway then when the finals came up in the first lap I was already able to take two positions and then I had to give them up why because the cart just simply could not hold traction down or the fronts when they would get heated up uh, would pick up the you know rubber that was laid down on the road and it would just become real horrible for me to turn understeer like no tomorrow so we, we know that there are problems with it. However, with all of that in mind, I still placed 13 eventually out of 16. And that's me trying to hold my own, trying to keep myself ahead of the competition. It was just 
a complete disaster, but I put it all on myself thinking I was a problem. But then you got to drive it and you figured it out that it's got issues. They're not issues, it just needs to be tuned. Well, that's what I mean. Issues as in like it's not, right. you know, 100%. So I got 35 minutes, I gotta put this gear on. So I'm gonna have you guys watch this, uh, this stuff and then uh, I guess we'll uh, get back to you as soon as I can. go I have a few minutes before I have to get out there and uh, you know just uh, kind of practice and kind of figure out how I stand with the way the cart is performing so I'm trying to clean my hands up and uh, yeah if I have to come back and do some additional tuning this will give me that opportunity to kind of know you know performance wise where where we are but, all right let's get going make things happen so we start off the qualifier here by starting in sixth position a position that I only got because this cart actually earned a lot of points anyway we're trying to warm up our tires and we follow the guys in the lead and try to make sure that our line is good to go and uh, going through turn one and two looks like everything is fine I'm just trying to shake a wheel a little bit try to get that tire warmed up come through this turn and this is what happens this unfortunately is going to be I don't know what the word is, but it's going to be an indication of how my day is about to be when this is what happens to me during the qualifiers. So anyway, some way, somehow, by almost the end of lap two, I find myself catching back up with at least the tail end of the qualifier lineup. So here you see me getting uh, as fast as I can around him, and all of a sudden, ooh, this one guy, of course, uh, slips around. Uh, <laughs> he uh, definitely gave me a scare there, but uh, good thing I was able to get around him and uh, proceed forward. Anyway, of course, at a 41 second lap time, I wasn't too happy because I, wa I knew uh, that prior to this I had done like a 39 something, so I really was trying to run as hot as I could. Anyway, reach up to this guy in the red suit and I see him take a really... Um, I don't know, wide line around and uh, he's real slow as a result so I tr quickly try to find a way around him so that I don't get too uh, upset with uh, my subsequent lap times which is exactly what happens here. I come to the straightaway and now I'm basically trying to find a way to get a much better lap time than I just did. Anyhow, moving on to the lap that I was able to get as the fastest one for myself which is lap five that starts right now uh, trying to get a good line around making sure I don't lose traction I was definitely having some issues with the tires not warming up enough I don't get what the problem was but it had just rained and uh, we were on what you would call a green track so all of that rubber that had been laid down has sort of washed away so I, I try to navigate as much as I can around this I, you gotta also remember I was still trying to learn the layout of this short track so it was a little difficult but still I was able to hold my own being that I was on my own uh, everybody else being in front of me but anyway 38.7 is the best I was able to do and that moves us into what was the pre-final to the final interest of saving time I'm actually going to skip the pre final to the final and just go right into the final here we just came out of the pit lane we're warming up our tires and I wanted to show you guys uh, for those of you who've never been on this track what happens the first time 
we leave the pit lane. We all get the opportunity to warm up our tires and then we wait in this um, staging area, if you ever want to call it, where we're then asked to go at a slow pace. Uh, they want to make sure we're all lined up correctly. And uh, at this point, we're just waiting on the guy at the front to wave the green flag. And once we see that, it's game on. So yeah, that's uh, basically it. But anyway, here we are trying to make sure we're good to go. Um, out of 15, only 11 raced in this final. I don't know what happened there, but anyway, I'm gonna do the best I can, right? So I come after these guys as best as I can as I come through. I'm making sure I'm not in anybody's way. I hit the grass and this is what happens. I just slip around and I'm like, you gotta be kidding me, man. I just <laughs> didn't even get the first full lap out and this is what happens to me. Uh, just my luck sometimes, I gotta tell you. We shrug it off and we focus on what we can do to catch up to them. It doesn't matter at this point. But anyway, I come around uh, turn one and this is what happens again. At this point, I'm just feeling pretty frustrated. I remember uh, sliding here and going, what the heck, man? This is just getting a little too ridiculous, isn't it? And at this point, I know I don't have any hopes of catching up, but now I'm just focused on finishing the race without, you know, any change breaking and any of that stuff. So I continue on, I soldier on, and uh, yeah, that's what happens uh, the rest of this race. It's just one of those things, you know, I, as, I, as I think back about what happened here, I, I, I uh, did not let that bother me as much. I just wanted to focus on one thing, which is maintain the line, try to make sure that I hit each one of these spots that I'm going through at the right speed with the right uh, angle of attack. So this way I can achieve at least a pretty good lap time. And as is the case for us, I get that blue flag that tells me I've got faster drivers behind me. That uh, makes me freak out a little bit because I'm like, oh gosh, not again. I just got to try to make sure I keep my line. I just remain focused, but then I kind of see them from the corner of my eye here. You guys can't, that they're right there. And I start to look behind me and not see where I'm going. And that's how I end up on the grass. Okay, so that's mistake number one here. Well, mistake number umpteen. But anyway, I'm like, you know what? Let him pass through, uh, recover, and go through this turn. I come around here, and uh, here I am trying to make this right turn, and yet again, the same thing. So I've made a habit of uh, slipping around, and uh, it's getting embarrassing at this point because now I've been lapped by everybody. Uh, but I don't even care at this point anymore. I just am like, you know what, whatever. At least I am going to finish the race completely, which is what I exactly do. And uh, that's that here. All right, guys. So uh, a lot has happened between uh, <laughs> the uh, qualifier for the final and, and all that stuff. And so I, I don't even know where I, I last left you guys. But uh, let me just tell you this. So... The qualifier uh, had me starting in sixth place, though I didn't think that was right, but whatever. And uh, basically, uh, when uh, that uh, finished up, that uh, the uh, out of 15 people, I started at number, I want to say it was 13 or, yeah, I think it was 13. And uh, long story short, I uh, did that first final. There were two finals, technically. First final was eight laps. Second final was a 12 lap race. So on the, on the first final, I placed uh, second last, so that would be, uh, what is that, 13th place. Uh, so I was okay with that. I was pretty close up to the uh, person in front of me, as you can probably see from the footage, but it just wasn't enough. All right, so moving into the final, which was the final to the final, whatever. Anyway, so that was a 12 lap race and in that I uh, noticed that we were down to just 11 instead of 15. Some drivers just did not want to take a chance because we had a lot of rain between the two finals. So there was a lot of debate over whether they wanted to use the uh, wet tire or rain tire uh, or go to the uh, uh, slicks again. So what happened was that rain came in, however, uh, it didn't last too long so the track dried up pretty good. They only uh, had drivers go on the wet tires, uh, or rain tires, I'm sorry, uh, for the first uh, iteration of races, because there's different classes that go through. So uh, by the time we came up, they said, okay, everybody go to slicks, because the track in itself was pretty dry, so we were good with that. 
All right, so that, uh, having said that, with a total of 11 people, I uh, ended up uh, having a lot of issues, as you can probably see from the footage. Uh, I just could not get traction. I even had my tire pressure set down low, like around 13 PSI, but it still wasn't enough, I felt. Like, I was pretty good the first bit, and then all of a sudden, I just couldn't get traction, and I, I was like, what in the heck am I gonna do? So when that uh, all transpired, I was like, all right, I gotta try to at least finish some way, somehow. I spent out a total of three times. The third time when I spent out, that was on me. I actually went to the side to let faster traffic in front of me. If you can see, a guy was waving me down, letting me know, hey, you got, you got faster people ahead of you. You're about to get lapped in. That's okay by me. Again, I'm new. These guys have been doing it for way longer than me, especially on this track. So they know the layout. I don't. Um, so anyway, with that out of the way, I was like, all right, whatever. I spin out that one last time. And at that point, I was like, you know what? I got to finish. So at least I finished. The good thing is out of 11, I came in at uh, ninth place, but that's also because position number 10 and 11 actually ended up uh, DNFing, which is did not finish. They, uh, their carts broke down. So all in all, I would have been last place completely if it hadn't been for uh, them having their individual breakdowns. So again, it, for me, you know, this is my first year going into the serious uh, side of go-karts and uh, I got to tell you, I mean, it's, it's, it's not about placing well, all right? Uh, what uh, really mattered to me at first was, hey, can I make it through the whole race without problems? Okay, now I can. The second thing is, am I having fun? I am definitely am. Uh, and am I learning? So I am doing all of those three uh, and eventually with time, I'm sure I'll be able to get to the point where I am competitive. You know, the fastest guy on the track has been at this particular track, has been racing since he was like a 12 or 13 year old. Now he's like, I think 40, almost close to my age. Obviously he's going to do better than me. And obviously all those other guys on the track uh, are gonna do better than me because all of them have a lot more experience than me. I'm literally a newbie. Uh, so we'll, you know, go, go with that. Uh, enough talking about that. Uh, we're gonna start packing up here. Uh, there's uh, a prediction for another bout of rain, so we want to try to avoid that. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, now our next race is the champions race, and that happens two weeks from this weekend. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, it's going to be the same uh, layout as what we just went through here. So that's good for me. At least I know that I don't have to try to uh, readjust to a whole new layout. So we'll see how I do. But anyway, uh, I am all done. I'm toasted. I really hope you enjoyed watching all of this, and I really hope that you uh, also shared the excitement that I have had so far. I can't wait for the rest of the season to go on the way it has, regardless of the ups and downs that come along with it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next Apex. Bye-bye.